My first memory of Saul was as a little girl shopping at the Price Club, and I remember my father, he pointed out Saul with some admiration, and I knew there was something great about this man. I guess the thing that strikes you most is how dramatic he was and how dynamic he was. He certainly was the smartest man I've ever known in my life. My dad set an example of being a very hardworking person who had very high standards of integrity and justice. Sal Price was someone who felt that people who did well should give back. We'll always be very, very, very grateful to Sal Price. Sal has been here to help. He had a real social conscience and a sense of leadership and showed other entrepreneurs how to be a good citizen, a very special human being. Price Family Charitable Fund is a family foundation that has as its mission to improve society, particularly for people who come from less opportunistic backgrounds, which is the fund that actually is making the donation to USC for the naming of the school. We're very committed to working in that way, making a difference in communities, to help create a national dialogue around urban development, low-income neighborhoods, and social progress. And of course, President Nikias, a very able president of the university who made quite an impression on us. So it was one of those times when everything aligned. This gift is not only about advancing research and scholarship. It is about developing leaders who will stand at the forefront of social change. My father was a very complex man. He uh, was the son of immigrant Jewish socialists. They were uh, early supporters of the International Lady Garment Workers Union. My grandparents were both very active in efforts to improve the conditions for working people. And his value system, I think, was developed by the values that his parents had. You know, even in the earlier years, starting out in the merchandising and retail industry, he chose to take a path and launch a successful business that had a model that allowed for common people to have greater access to better pricing and better choices and better quality. You know, I was there in the very beginning at FedMart, and, and you know, it was the attitude that he had toward taking care of his employees. But he also had that same feeling about the customers, that, you know, you give the customer the best break you can. The first store, FedMart store, was in San Diego, and it was a membership primarily for federal employees. And then the second store was in Phoenix, and the third store was in Texas, and this was in 1957. And Texas still had segregation. The company that was going to put the mortgage on that store refused to lend the money unless there was a clause that would provide for separate bathrooms for blacks and whites. And my father, he was courageous. He told them to take the, the mortgage and you know what to do with the mortgage. And they, they relented and, and removed that clause. I mean, anybody that knew Saul knew that there was an integrity, an integrity in what he believed in, and that he didn't sacrifice his principles. He truly cared. He was someone who rose, was a tremendous success, a self-made man who felt strongly that people who did well should give back. Good afternoon, Price Charities. This is Jane speaking. And I think that legacy of matching uh, private investment with a sense of public duty and obligation is what makes Saul Price a perfect person for whom to name the School of Public Policy at USC. The Price School is concerned with improving the quality of life for people in their communities. Uh, we do this through addressing some of the major policy issues in the country, as well as planning and developing better communities and cities for the future. We take an interdisciplinary approach to this that includes public policy and public management as well as health management and policy and urban planning and real estate development. This gives us an integrated, holistic approach to working with people in communities and the kind of issues that they face. And so he represents very well the kind of innovation, entrepreneurial spirit, commitment to social justice and urban development that characterize our school. Well, I think it's a great tribute. It will bring more attention to a 
less recognized aspect of uh, Saul's life. Everybody knows him as a successful businessman, but few know that he had wide-ranging interests in uh, public policy. Saul Price believed that well-informed, well-crafted, enlightened public policy was crucial, was central. As Secretary of Housing, I had the good fortune to have Sol Price walk me through remaking an entire neighborhood, a poor neighborhood of San Diego, and virtually willing a portion of San Diego into redevelopment. City Heights is in the heart of San Diego, very unique and challenging and very diverse and, and beautiful community. The approach that was taken to build and strengthen this community was very entrepreneurial. He brought together different disciplines, different cultures, so that the community could help each other. City Heights has definitely been changed forever because of Saul Price. I wasn't going to be able to change the country and I wasn't going to be able to change the state. I'd come to the conclusion I wasn't even going to be able to change the city, so maybe I could change one little area. The interesting thing about his philanthropy was that it uh, expressed itself at the individual level, at the neighborhood level, at the community level, and at the national level, like through the Urban Institute. It was very tough-minded, whether it was about the tax code or programs and policies to help lower income people or people suffering in uh, very poor or distressed communities. He felt everyone should have these kinds of opportunities and that there was something wrong. If people were denied opportunities just because they were born into a family that was poor. The more the faculty, staff, and students learn about the life and legacy of Zoll Price, he revolutionized the retail industry and was a pioneer in real estate. And I have to say, one of the real passions of my father was real estate. But he also had a strong commitment to social justice and urban development. Uh, we're very proud of him, and he has made an impact not only in business, but in the world. Saul's family is carrying on with the mission, the values, and the vision that Saul and Helen had, I feel that they are committed to elevating his work to a whole nother level. We are very thankful that they have invested in us to honor his legacy and carry on that legacy. The idea that this gift could take a school that already has an excellent reputation and provide greater resources and support to attract the brightest and the best students and faculty. We couldn't think of a better way to perpetuate what Saul had started and what Robert and the rest of the family has continued to elevate. Well, I think uh, the students at the school can see that an individual who came from very humble beginnings through hard work and very creative mind became a very successful businessman who then continued his interests in public policy and philanthropy. Saul's life is an affirmation, really, of how important public policy is and at its best how much good it can do. If Saul were here to advise students, I think he would say to think outside the box, to think for yourself, try to live your life in a way that would be exemplified by integrity, and a sense of caring for other people. And always remember that, uh, you know, in the final analysis, you're gonna be judged by the results in the long term, and you're gonna be judged on how well you did to the total society, that you've made a mark in society.